fight to clean up abandoned and neglected properties is an uphill battle, and the city has more than 6,000 blighted properties in the metro. Take a look at this map that the city provided for us. You see all those green dots? Each and every one of those is a location of a vacant building. It's kind of incredible to see. Lisa Benson is here to explain why taxpayers all over the city are really concerned. That's right. Right now I'm live in 3111 Poplar, and this building is boarded up and has been like this since 2008. And again, there are thousands of houses just like this one throughout the city. And as this house sits empty, taxpayers are losing money. Five boarded up houses on one block. When it comes to neglected properties, Kansas City taxpayers have a multi million dollar problem. It's creepy because I'll be hearing stuff in you know. them. Could be homeless people living in. This year alone, the city has spent more than a million dollars on demolition, money that barely puts a dent in the city's more than 6,000 abandoned properties. Take a look at this map. The green dots represent neglected properties. The third and fifth districts are saturated. We're looking at how can we have a focus in renewing that urban landscape and having more rooftops and people who want to live back in the city. Neighborhood and Housing Services David Park says attracting private investors is an important part of their plan. The city doesn't have to do 6,000 houses. What we have to do is enough to convince the private market that these are um, feasible projects to do. Mary Sapp agrees. She's lived in her Hyde Park neighborhood for more than 30 years. She says the quality of the city's housing supply should concern all taxpayers. Property values increase when the houses around you increase in value. Safety increases the more neighbors that you have. It has to be affordable. It has to be good housing. Everybody should, be, should have a concern about that. Now back here live just across the street, you can see these are residents who live inside of these homes. In fact, I talked to them just a little bit earlier and right here again, more boarded up vacant houses. Now the city hopes to partner with some local banks so they can help investors and homeowners who want to live in these areas to utilize these homes in these blighted neighborhoods. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.